What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Angela. You got desires? I know, I know. You got desires? I know, I know. You got desires? And today we're gonna be doing a bathroom declutter slash organization video for you guys. I'm so excited because this is something that I've been putting off for years, literally years. I haven't gone through every single product in my bathroom since I first moved into this apartment, which I think was like two years ago. I think I got rid of like a few things, but I didn't do like a full clean out. So I'm so excited to do this. Also, sorry for the weird intro. I was just editing my video and I didn't like the intro that I filmed. So we're doing a new intro outside. Thank you so much for all the love you guys showed on my closet clean out. It was so, so sweet. I appreciate it so much. And that's what inspired me to do the bathroom clean out. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so here's a little overview of what we have going on. This is all the storage I have for my hair and body products. There's just a bunch of stuff. Oh, and medicine, like my medicine stuff is here too. This is basically like my underneath the bathroom sink. I don't have like an underneath the sink drawer. It's literally just this cabinet and then this one drawer. And in this, I keep all of like my hair brushes and hair tools. But as I've accumulated more hair tools, they don't even fit really in there. And they're kind of just like piling up up here. I'm trying to come up with some ways to organize it better. I was thinking maybe I could get like some clear or like shelves here or something to put like hot tools. You know how you they have those like hot tool holders where you can like stick them in like this. I don't know if they have them for the wall though. I need to figure something out. We're gonna go look on Amazon in a little bit, but first I wanna just kinda wipe this down and go through everything. What I wanna keep, what I don't wanna keep, and then we can go with organizing. I have a drawer and then there's like two shelves. I've had this bin for a while now and I kind of tried my best to like organize it to the best of my ability, but you know, it's hard with the limited space. I have some medicine in here, makeup wipes, kind of stuff I need to go through. So yeah, anyways, I'm really excited to get into this. This eco gel I'm gonna keep. Kerastase, keep, 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 keep. I think I've used this like maybe one time. I'm gonna put this in the donating pile just because I know I'm not reaching for it. I feel like this is like bad now. This is shampoo, it's brand new, keep. My mom actually gifted me this cute little gift set. So I love these, thank you mom, I'm gonna keep these. Anti-frizz mask, yes, but need to do this. Keeping this, keeping this. This makes your hair smell so freaking good. Keep This Miel, I really like this stuff and so I'm gonna keep it. Dayquil, I keep it. This is a brand new mouthwash that I have. I bought two off of Amazon. This is like the other one. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this. Keep this. Keep. In here, I just have this Q tips. Herb Volume Dry Texture Spray. Keep. This Trader Joe's Hair Serum. Shea Butter and Coconut Oil. Keep. Love this. These are like travel size Amika purple shampoo for when I was blonde, but I don't obviously use these because I am now brunette. These hair ties. Keep. Love these. They're amazing. I have a lint roller. Keep. Some cotton pads. Joanna Vargas face mask. This is trash. Looks like I have three vapor like chest rub for when i'm sick and since i have three i'm gonna get rid of these two because i know they're really old and just keep this one in the box so in here i have a bunch of headbands and hair ties i just use this like keels bag to hold everything very convenient this hair mask is super old and it never really shuts properly so i'm just gonna toss it and i just have some extra brush heads for my electronic toothbrush i'm gonna get rid of these i feel like there's product in here from when i was traveling yeah toss these scalp revival shampoo what do you guys do with these super tiny products like where do you put them i have no place to put these tiny products and sometimes end up throwing them away but they do come in handy if i get something like this and then i go on a trip but it's like is this gonna last and the next time i go on a trip probably not keeping this this argan oil hair mask keep keep and then everything else i'm just gonna toss up here I 
I really should be wearing gloves, but oh well. This is like the best it's gonna get. I don't know what spilled right here that kind of like chipped at this, but must have been something strong. And I really wanna order some sort of organizational thing for up here, but I haven't done that yet. So until we do that, we're just gonna leave it like this. Ew, I'm so embarrassed to show you guys how this looks, but you need to see. That's so disgusting. Just drying it. Okay, we have a clean drawer now. This curling iron I'm gonna keep. See, it doesn't even fit like this. I have to tilt it. This straightener I'm gonna keep. This straightener I'm gonna keep. This curling iron I'm gonna keep. This hair crimper we're keeping. This tiny straightener I have no use for, so I'm gonna see if I can like give it away to one of my friends. And this tiny, tiny curling iron, I'm gonna keep, it could be cute for a hairstyle. And then I'm just gonna put these brushes back here. ASMR. For now, that's good. I got one of these. It has like multiple interchangeable heads because I didn't want to spend on the Dyson. So I got this and it's just so chunky. Like I don't have any room for it. All right, guys. So I'm looking for something to hold all of my hot tools. And what I see the most of these ones that you have to put them like on a counter. And I didn't really want to do this just because I'm trying to free up all the counter drawer and cupboard space. So I was trying to take advantage of like the air space I have and like maybe do like a hanging shelf or something. Like something like this would be so perfect. But all of the basket things like this that I keep seeing are so tiny. Like I need like a big big one. I guess I could get two. I feel like it doesn't really go with like the hardware in my bathroom. Everything is like silver. So I don't know if that's just gonna look like really weird. Oh wait, actually this one looks like you can mount it on the wall and that looks pretty big. Oh and look I found a silver one. Oh is it silver or is it like kind of a chrome color? Would that look like super ugly in the bathroom? I don't really like this. Like, you know how some silver could look? It's like nickel, and this looks like that shower material that kind of rests when it gets wet. It's just not my vibe for the bathroom. But we're on the right track. I'm just going to add the silver one to my cart, and then let me keep looking. I'm feeling really sick right now. Um, I've been waking up with a sore throat for the past two days, so I just made myself some emergency. I probably look insane right now, but... 
I love the idea of this, but I have too many hot tools. Like this is really cute if you have one hair dryer and one curling iron, but we're the ones for the girlies that have like a ton of shit. Okay, let's add this to the cart also. Oh, this wouldn't get here till April 2nd. Wait, when is April? Okay, also I'm thinking another option could be one of these over the toilet storage racks. Okay guys, so I found this. This is another option I could do for the bathroom. I feel like I could put a basket and then just like stick all of my hot tools in there and that would be really, really nice. Plus, I could stick some other things on top. I don't know. I've never had an over-the-toilet storage shelf before. But this seems like it would be really, really nice to have, honestly. All right, guys. So, I found one that I think I'm going to go with. Just because I feel like I'm going to be able to use it for, like, a lot more storage. We'll see. I hope it fits. It's only $34, so. Yay, I'm so excited. So, I just ordered this shelf. It should be here by Friday. So, on Friday, I'll check back in with you guys and... Uh, Hopefully it's here and we'll start building. All right guys, so I'm about to go to the gym right now, but I just really quick wanted to show you that the toilet rack delving thing came in. I'm gonna be building it when I get back. I have to still go through the bottom cabinet and stuff, but I'm just gonna go to the gym and I'll be right back. All right guys, so it's a lot later and now we're gonna go through this. This we kind of roughly went through. I need to get the right organizers for the stuff in here, but it's okay for now. The shelves for behind the toilet are being built right now. Brian's actually building them. So let's go through everything in here. So this is what this shelf looks like. I obviously just emptied it out. I'm going to wipe it down and then we're just going to go through all of this stuff that was in there. This is completely full. I've never used this. I'm going to keep this. There's another full size of it. Also a Tanologist little brush. I'm keeping this. A Tanologist refill and then I also have a spray bottle somewhere keeping this boob serum firm and tighten it's like brand new i'm gonna be giving this away so i'm gonna put this to the side i'm gonna keep this deodorant i love this deodorant the secret my fave i'm gonna keep this buttons of glory butt serum watermelon vitamin e apricot let me smell it I'll give this away too more tanologist medium dark Face tanologist drops. I'm keeping all these. Contact solution, I need to keep this. Tresemme hairspray, they're both full. And then I'm gonna try and keep all my little travel size stuff so that when I do travel, I can just reach in and quickly grab it. This is a dry shampoo by Amika, which is such a good brand. Throw this to the side, but I'm gonna keep. Face drops keeping. Wow, I'm pretty much keeping all this stuff. Miel hair mask, and then the Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. Love both of these. Really, really good. I need to get back into doing masks. I forgot I even had this deodorant. I'm gonna keep this. Keeping this leave-in conditioner. This has nothing in it. This red can dry shampoo. I'm gonna get rid of this. Leave-in plus keratin. It's a 10. I'm gonna keep this. The entire thing is full. Sunscreen, sunscreen I'm keeping. It's Mario Badescu deodorant. I'm gonna keep this Tresemme heat protectant spray. There's like, no, there's literally nothing in it. I'm gonna toss this. This hair mask a company sent me. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna go with my travel size things. Tea tree, hair and body moisturizer, leave-in conditioner. Makeup wipes keeping. The best hair mask ever, you guys. If you're looking for a really good hair mask, this brand, I think it's called Divine's, the new, new hair mask. It's so freaking good. And it leaves my hair like so silky smooth after. Keeping, keeping leave-in conditioner by Shea Moisture. Keeping this Rio Sunset. This is gonna come in handy this summer. Peach slices, wash off mask I'm keeping. This is a CVS a sore throat spray for whenever I'm sick. Keeping, and then this Old Lex Intensive Bond Building Hair Treatment. I'm just gonna toss this. This is pretty old. And we're down to the last and final section down here. And this is a little more personal care things. I have a bin, but I do want to get bins that all match because this one's kind of random. It's just like this coral one I got a while ago from Target. It's very cute, but it's just like random and I want them to all match. <gasps> I forgot I had this. 
I have this Thayer's Witch Hazel. I don't know if you guys knew this, but I learned this in makeup school. Usually on the back of every moisturizer and skincare product, it says like after open how many months it's like good for. Although this one doesn't say anything on it, but I'm gonna toss this because it's pretty old. I have a face razor. I'm gonna keep some vital tablets. I'm gonna keep mucus relief, sinus severe congestion and pain. I'm keeping this. Some panty liners I'm keeping. Some pads here as well I'm keeping. I have this spray for my roots when I used to be blonde, but I'm not anymore and there's nothing really in it. So I'm gonna toss this. I have some razors here. I'm just gonna pull them out of this pack. Zycam keeping. This is a cold shortener. Some bar soap I'm gonna keep. A deodorant that's brand new I'm gonna keep. I keep a lot of my things that I have extras on here. I have these at home COVID tests. I'm gonna keep teeth whitening. I'm gonna keep eyelash. I'm gonna keep shower cap keeping. Post wax cloth keeping these. More wax strips. I'm gonna kind of put these all together. Um, extra toothpaste. A giant NyQuil. I didn't even know I had all this. Contacts, I'm keeping oxygen reader thing for your finger. You just stick your finger in it like that and it reads your oxygen. Keeping this. Extra ibuprofen keeping. Neosporin keeping. Nail clippers. I was actually looking for this. I'm going to keep and I'm going to pull it out. Cleanser that's travel sized. I'm going to keep and I'm also going to put it in my travel sized stuff. Same with this gentle foaming cleanser. This is a face mask. I'm going to toss this. This is pretty old. I have an extra tongue scraper in here. Okay. I'm going to kind of put everything I want to keep back for now. And then I'm going to reorganize that once I get brand new bins. But I just wanted to separate the things that I know I want and don't want. Lash lift kit. We're going to keep this. I actually love this. I tried this on my eyebrows the other day and I loved this. Is an eyebrow serum. But it's taking up a lot of room, so I'm going to pull it out of this packaging and just put the bottles in here, like, loosely. Another eyelash serum. Okay, I'm going to stick the pimple patches with my skincare stuff, so I'm going to pull it out of this. This is the Tanologist spray that I was telling you guys I had somewhere. The refillable is this. Keeping both of these. And then this is like an electric lint remover. I'm keeping this. It works so good. So we're done with this for now. Okay guys, so we're in Target right now and I found these um, containers, super cute. I was either gonna get these white ones or these clear ones. I think I'm gonna go with the clear ones. And then I'm gonna do, I think two of these and then one of these big ones. I'm either gonna use this as underneath that cupboard or I'm gonna put my hot tools in it and put it on that toilet rack shelf thing that I just bought. We're gonna see. Okay, so I'm back from Target and I got these clear containers. tools and i'll be back i'm sorry if the lighting looks terrible it's really dark in here and i don't want to bring any of my lights in here Let's see how this looks here okay so here's an overview of how everything's looking right now i actually don't love it I thought this was going to be a lot bigger. I kind of expected it to be that high, but that's my fault for really not measuring it out or anything. It's fine. I think I like my hot tools right here. They're just like easier to reach. And I like that it's not taking up room in this drawer, which I think is just going to become a brushes drawer. Okay, so now I'm going to take this container and just going to fill it with extra hair products. Like I have this curl gel cream. I honestly don't use this, so I'm gonna get rid of this too. And I think that's pretty much everything that really has to do with hair. So we'll stick this down here. You guys, so here is a final overview of how the bathroom rack turned out. It's kind of not that stable. Well, it's stable, but it's like a little wonky because it's like right on top of this towel holder, but it's fine. 
it works. I don't love it, I'm gonna be honest. For right now though, it does exactly what I need it to do. And I put kind of all of my hot tools in here. I love it here because it's just easy to reach. I also put my spray bottle right here. And then this side, I'm still working on getting more acrylic things to put up here. Maybe I'll put my perfumes. Ooh, that could be a good idea. I put my perfumes up here. I don't know though, we'll see. But final overview of this little area, I have my brushes and combs on the right hand side and then all of my hair accessories, uh, bobby pins, hair ties in here. Here I have some toothpicks, I'm almost out, I need to get some more. And then in here I have Q-tip. This is an overview of how it looks now. I actually really love how this turned out and I love the clear containers in here. I downsized on some of my hair products. It's so much harder to get rid of hair products, I feel like. I feel like clothes, somebody else can have a use for them, but like hair products, it's like, I don't know, is there a place to like donate your hair products? Who wants half a bottle of something? So I just feel bad and I just want to like use it up. So I didn't get rid of as many things as I would have liked, but I still got rid of some things. So I'm happy about that. Oh, my timer is going off. On the right hand side, I have my two huge bottles of Tresemme hairspray in the very back. And then all of these on the right hand side here are masks. I have six masks and then the eco gel. And the other bin, what do I have in here? Just kind of like more miscellaneous products. I have a lot of tanning stuff because I bought a full set of tanning stuff not knowing that Tanologist was gonna send me the very same products that I bought and then it was too late to return. And anyway, so I have like a ton of tanning stuff. I'm gonna start tanning very soon, so hopefully I can get through that stuff. On the very bottom, if I have pads, tampons, panty liners, I have an electric lint roller in that very, very back. And then I have an extra mouthwash here. And then in this one, I have all of my like, medicine, extra deodorant, a toothbrush head, contacts, contact solution, extra soap, razor things like that. All right guys, but that is everything. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it, you know, helpful since it inspires you to clean, but I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.